case, I'm going to show you now how to take your site offline. And um, it's pretty easy. But I'm also going to show you how to replace the logo. Um, it normally comes with a Joomla logo, and you want to replace that with your logo. And it won't take too long. So this is how the JA Purity template looks like when you first uh, install it. And I'm going to go into the back end. And you can do that by just typing in administrator at the end of the path for your website. So now that I'm, that I'm in the back end of the site, I'm going to go to global configuration here. You can also get there from site and global configuration. So click that. And up here it says site settings and it says site offline. And it has it no. Um, it's, it's checked off as no right now. So I'm going to click that to yes. And I'm just going to apply. Click apply. And now we're going to go back to the site and press refresh. And now it's offline. And the username and password is the same as what you log into for the back end. That's the administration um, information that you put in when you install the site. So the only thing I really want to change here is the message here and possibly the site name and then the logo. And it's pretty simple to do that. Um, you don't have to change anything, of course, but if it's probably best to do that because you don't want Joomla to be the logo that people see when your site's offline. You want it to be your logo. So go back to the back end. And we're just going to change the offline message here. And the site name, it's also, oh, you can scroll over the name and you can do that throughout Joomla. And it'll explain exactly what each uh, option uh, stands for. But as you can see, it says that it's used in various locations, including the back end browser title bar and the site offline pages. So um, you can change that here if you would like, or you can just take it off and make, leave, it blank, leave it blank. So first I'll change it to show you what it looks like. And click apply. Apply saves anything that you do, uh, but it keeps the same window open. If you click save, then it would um, exit out of this window if you wanted um, to save it, but just not stay on the same window. So go back to the site and click re uh, refresh. Okay, so the amazing vacation shows right here. And the new message shows here also. So um, if you're going to have your logo up there, you might not want that. But at the same time, if you don't have that up there, um, it helps with uh, accessibility. Uh, so like if someone, if someone that uh, we're not able to see, we're looking at the site and they use their uh, website reader then they'd be able to read that this is the amazing vacation site and there'll be nowhere else where they would be able to know that unless you put it into the offline message. So it's up to you whether you just want to take that off or not. And the last but not least is the logo. Uh, there are several ways to do this. You can go onto the off offline.php file and I will show you where that is right now. I'm going to my FTP client and I'm going to find install five. That's the folder that my site is on. And go to templates. And right now it's under the folder called system. And it's called offline.php. You can download that. And uh, if you're familiar with PHP, it shouldn't be too difficult to find where certain parts of that offline page is located. And you can replace certain um, pieces of it. But if you put it back up here onto the system folder, it will override all of your changes back to the default version of it. So once you do make changes, 
you would uh, disable this file by clicking that old. And now I say old file, uh, but you really want to keep it a PHP file. But first you would do that. I'll just take that off for now. And then you would uh, actually you would disable it, but you would also delete it. So you disable it and then just put it onto your own computer by downloading it and delete it from this uh, uh, folder. And then I would go back up to the fold, the uh, template that you're using and upload the changes here uh, just so that it doesn't get overridden by um, the default uh, version of the off offline page. So you can uh, make changes to the offline page that way if you're familiar with PHP and CSS. Uh, but if we're just going to change the logo, then we're just going to find that logo image and replace it. So one way, I already know where it's located and what it's named, but the, re, the way I know how to find that is to copy the path the site is on, and I will upload Firefox. I'll open Firefox. And now I'm going to click here on the address bar and click Control-V to paste that path. And now I see the same offline page. So as mentioned in a previous tutorial called What You Will Need to Get Started, uh, there are a few add-ons for Firefox that are pretty great when it comes to web de development that I use a lot. And one is called Firebug. And you can barely see the name here because of the design that I have on my Firefox uh, browser. But um, so you will need, well, you may not need it, but it's pretty helpful uh, to get Firefox and to get Firebug and also the web developer add-on. So those two add-ons, Firebug and web developer, are pretty good to help with finding certain things that you'll need to uh, replace in your design. So I'm going to open Firebug. I can click here. Um, so you can open up a new window or let me get out of this or I can just click F12 and it'll open up on the bottom. And so here, you just, as you can see, it highlights what each area uh, represents on that website. I'm going to click through to try to find the logo and here we go. Um, so this line represents the logo. And that's the alt tab and tag. And if you want to change that for SEO and um, accessibility purposes, you might want to do that in the offline.php file. Uh, but since it's an offline site, it's not really something that is that important uh, since it's not really your site yet. It's just the offline page. Um, but you might want to do that there. And here we see the logo. And it's 350 pixels by 71 pixels. So if you don't want this, you know, the, the page to start messing up because of the CSS that's already built around uh, that that file um, size, then you should probably make your offline logo that size. And it's now in the main path of the site. Install five images and under. Joomla underscore logo underscore black dot JPEG. So we're going to find that and replace it. So go back into your FTP client, or if you go if you have yours on your hosting sites, uh, your hosting company's uh, FTP client, you use that. But so we just go here, and right now we're already under the template folder. So we're going to go up to the install five folder. And we're going to the images folder. And this is the logo right here. So we're going to go to our folder and find our equivalent. So offline logo, I'm going to upload it. And I've already made it 350 by 71 pixels. OK, so that's there. And now here, I'm going to click on this and click once more so that I can copy the name. So right click and click copy. I'm going to go to the end of it to disable it. Click dot old. 
Now it's an old file. So it won't be read as a JPEG file anymore. And here I'm going to click here once and once more to edit this name. Click Control V, it's in Victor, to paste it. And click Enter. So now this is the logo that will be uh, seen for the offline page. So now let's go back and I'll just open it up in Chrome. Refresh. And there you have it. You have the amazing vacation logo. So this is a better way to represent your company while it's offline as opposed to showing the Joomla logo. And um, that's it. If you wanted to do more to it, you can go to the offline.php files in the system folder um, under templates. You can also go into that CSS folder um, next to uh, in the same area where the system folder is and make some CSS um, changes also. And just make sure you put it into the template that you're using as opposed to back into the systems folder. And uh, you should be good to go. Okay, see you in the next tutorial. Bye.